Smack is the story of Sarita and Caesar. They had an idea they believed could become a great business. But even with a great idea, success is far from assured. That's because for every good idea that has changed our world, there are thousands of great ideas that don't make the cut. Biz2Credit is a company that provides loans to startups and small businesses. When Sarita approached the company for funds, she had already survived two years into her business. It was a great partnership because it ended up working out and we ended up being able to, to get some working capital to move forward. Ramith and Rohit from Biz2Credit typically scan scores of business proposals like Sarita's every day, all looking for funds to kickstart a remarkable idea. But in order for any idea to succeed, it needs a great business model. And Smack stood out in the pile as a shining beacon of business acumen. I think her whole concept around macaroni and cheese is very interesting and very unique. I think there's not a lot of places in Manhattan, so it's not a very me too place. And we have found that when you have a different kind of a food or a different way to present it, in a city like New York, which is so competitive in terms of restaurants, you know, that stands out. We have seen a lot of me too restaurants actually going under. So I think that was one thing that stood out that how she just took a very simple idea and presented it so well. You know. The other thing I would say that worked in her favor was that she was looking to grow the business and she had some very interesting ideas of what she would do uh, with the financing she would secure from us. When we checked with some other people, you know, they give, like they'd eaten there and they had some good consistent experience. So I think that was something which was interesting. Obviously, I always have my doubt when I see a restaurant business, always, you know, especially in Manhattan, there's a 70% plus failure rate. What I liked about her was she was very hands-on, you know, she came once to the office to deliver lunch on her own, you know, so which is actually was good, you know, because one thing that we look and we are, we ourselves are a small business is, you know, how much embedded the owners themselves are, you know, or do they feel shy about doing the work on their own, you know, because that's, that's, because if they don't know what the business entails, then they will never succeed in that business. So I think besides the financials, besides her track record, you know, her coming on her own, carrying all the packets, bringing the lunch over, was something, you know, that impressed me, you know, that I, at that point of time, I thought, yes, she, she's not only a good operator, but she's also a very serious operator, you know, which is, which is a very important aspect in this business. I would say the other factor that helped was that she was a very resilient entrepreneur and in the fact that she was an immigrant and a woman entrepreneur, she has done very well for herself. And what we have found historically is that, you know, women entrepreneurs, you know, once they get money, normally in most of the cases, they use it very responsibly and they're less prone to, you know, taking the spending binges that can lead to more defaults. So I think that was always the factor. Investors like Biz2Credit see thousands of business plans each year from potential business owners. Sometimes their decisions are based on a referral from a trusted source, but often the business plan is the only basis they have for deciding whether or not to invite an entrepreneur to their office for a meeting. And to judge if an idea has what it takes to be the next big idea that changes the world. You know, interesting concepts and fresh ideas do work. So not everyone has to open an Indian restaurant. Uh, if there's a different take on a restaurant, it definitely does. Or any other idea, you know, you have to just believe in your idea and follow the passion.